But no, I was getting to know who I was, and I was like, All right, I'm going to take this name, and I'm going to flip it, because as a people, you know, they call us black and ugly a lot. Yeah. And we're, like, the most beautiful creatures on this planet. So it's That's like, I'm, I'm going to take something negative and put a positive mm -hmm. spin on it, mm -hmm. you know? How did they first receive that when you started doing that? You... Nah, nobody was with it. Really? <laughs> yeah, my mother was like, name it black and beautiful. Money conversations, we've been making business moves. Contemplating how to get it, need to get in tune. Different topics, we got options, you can pick and choose. If more income ain't the outcome, gotta switch the mood. We tryna help you to improve, thanks for asking. Road the riches, speak on broker days and past tense. Wealthy habits, lately I just wanna stack chips. Took a risk and we've been running up a bag since. G Vast Quest, quick to make a couple G's. Detox, spin knowledge, put you on your feet. Bug out, got the plate, make sure to pray before you eat. At the table, with the winners, come and take a seat. What's up? What's up? What's up? For the you? next episode of Thanks for Asking, we got the Sharifa, and she got her own clothes nice. design, and it's called Black and Ugly as Ever. You know how that go from the Biggie lyrics? And look at GT. Sure, we got to get our shirts like that. <laughs> 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 I'm going to hit it. 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 Anyway, yo, Detox, start the interview, boy. Woo! Come on, man. I did real disrespectful up in here, dude. <laughs> no, you were a You were a Real disrespectful in here. <laughs> Sharifa, it's a pleasure. Always, always. I was trying on. to track you down for like... How long, how long? It can't be that long. It couldn't, it couldn't I, be that long. Because I met you in, in December. The, yeah, in December, <laughs> yeah. It's crazy how I met her. I'm working downtown. Mm -hmm. I see her. They, what, what was that thing called? It was... um. It was it's Urban Space. They have these like pop-up stores that yeah. they do for the holidays. So I had one there. And it was in Borough Hall. Yeah. yeah. So she was there seven days... A yes. week, every day, every day, every day, every day. Oh, wow. every day yep. Cause I, I was like, in. I was like, yo, this shit is dope, right? <laughs> I was like, yo, I need some of this, so I brought some, mm -hmm. and then I was like, you gotta come on my show. I'm developing a show. Like we didn't even right. have it out no. by then. I'm like, yo, you but gotta it, come. The on idea in. sounded dope in itself. Yeah. So I was like, I'm there. I appreciate that. No problem. You know what man. I'm saying? And she was like, yeah, I'm here every day. I can't every come. Every day. It was dope. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> it was wild. I even got robbed there. I don't even know. If I, I remember told you that. that. You yeah. put the video up or something? Did they yeah. catch him? Yeah, they caught him. They caught wow. him. Wow, yeah. thank God, man. I, the, I haven't told anyone, but I saw him in the jacket. Like, wow. Maybe a month, a month later after he stole it, I saw him in that jacket. And I, I knew it was the jacket because it was the last one I had left. So it was like nobody else would have this leather jacket on. And he had it on. He was walking like Diddy bopping down the block in that shit. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we wow. know you high because wow. they, they, they trying to steal them bitches like, off of the <laughs> Give me the pie, right? Yeah, for real. Like, <laughs> son, that was crazy. So, hey, I, I felt so bad. Like, it like, happens, why you, though. It happens. Like, you know. I don't really like that, man. Not for, <laughs> I like your work because I can tell you put your heart into it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Where it's not like. It's not super generic. Yeah, right? it's not like, oh, somebody just made a shirt, pressed it. Nah, right. it's thought into this mm -hmm. thing here. You know what I'm saying? Like, this looks like art. It's a brand. It's a brand. Mm -hmm. It has, like, meaning to it. Speaking about meaning, like, how did you even come up with the name Black and Ugly? Um, so then, I'm a Biggie fan. Like, you know, some people get you the lyrics. <laughs> Bro, shout out to Biggie. <laughs> some get it. Shout out to Biggie. All right, bad. yeah. Some get it right away and some don't. But um, the first shirt I designed, it did say Black and Ugly as ever on it. Mm -hmm. It had a picture... A picture of Biggie and people kept calling it the black and ugly shirt. Bro, I'm, like, I'm like, why? Shirt, why are they calling it the black and ugly shirt if it has a picture of Biggie on it? Yeah. Like that should be the Biggie shirt. And I was like, at the time, I was like, I was into like Egyptian culture and learning mm -hmm. about who we were and all. You know, I was on my you like on finding my. And all I, that? Yeah, I was definitely much on my. Hotel. I don't like to say whole because <laughs> you know they didn't commercialize it and made right. it sound it made it something corny, stuff. right? But no, I was getting to know who I was and I was like, all right, I'm gonna take this name and I'm gonna flip it because. As a people, you know, they call us black and ugly a lot. Yeah. And we're like the most beautiful creatures on this planet. So it's That's like, I'm, I'm going to take something negative and put a positive mm -hmm. spin on it, mm -hmm. you know, because I, I like um, oxymorons and irony. So. so how did they first receive that when you started doing that? When you... Nah, nobody was with it. Really? <laughs> yeah, my mother was like, I was like, name it black and beautiful. Like, why would you do that, right? And I was like, I'm going to take this and, and make it something else so that when you hear the name, whether you like it or not, you remember that. You feel me? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. ill. That's Ill. I don't mean to chime in, but I have to hold. I, I was holding this in because I had a shirt a long time ago yeah. that said "Black and Ugly as Ever," right? Really? So this, G, what year was that? What year was that? 
Oh, like we was at Quigley's, right? No, no, we was here. We was here. Yeah. But she stopped. Yeah. How long you made said, that shirt? How long ago you made that shirt? I made that shirt like maybe ten years ago. She might might have been her shirt. Ago. It, it could, could have been about that long, been. maybe. Yeah, it could have been. But she might have been your right? shirt. Yeah. Yeah. And she said, she said, why are you wearing that shirt? Yeah. And I just right. was like, she fucked me up because I was you like, didn't know I what ain't to say. Right, yeah. I didn't have to explain all it's a biggie quote. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? She's just like, don't do not do that. You're right. a king. Right. Don't, don't right. Right. lower right. yourself right. like right. that. Right. So it fucked me up. I stopped wearing a shirt. I ain't going to find it. That was her shirt. She made it 10 years ago. That was her shirt. Word. So it's ill for you to say that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oftentimes it's like older people are like, nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they don't understand the lyrics of it. Yeah, they don't understand the lyrics and um the background behind it and that. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to flip something, yeah, you know? I'm yeah. trying to take, like, the negative uh, yeah, connotation yeah, yeah. that's yeah, with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With positive, and it's also yeah. the shock value that comes it is, with that. that too, right? right? At the time, yeah. I was a marketing major really? at City College when I right. came up with the name. So I was like, yeah. That's dope. So I understood that people are going to be, you know, um, maybe offended by it mm -hmm. or um, don't like it, but it holds value in itself. Yeah. Did, did your marketing degree help you think about it like in those terms or you always was that type of person who just wanted to do something to stand out i think i think it's i think two things can be true at the mm -hmm. same time so both of those like I, I was in college and i was taking these classes so that enlightened me in that sense but um i've always been like i strike my own path and i go on it so yeah. i was making shirts of myself before mm -hmm. i even make the biggie shirt i did a, a, a pharaoh shirt before that and i was just wearing it and on the back it had chains Cause I was like, this is who we are as a person uh, on the back. It's like they got us chained up type shit. So I think I've always been like, nah, like you should be dope like that. You got the colored one. Yeah. Where it's like the champion, but it is show colored yeah. or something like that. Uh -huh. That's it says you know, colored. Yeah. That's my. That's one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. That's not the one I brought. The one I brought was the Gucci right, one. The, right. The, the, not a, uh, Never had real Gucci. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's this shirt. I actually posted it on Super Bowl or something really? like that. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, oh yeah, you did wear it. I, I was yeah. at the men's, the gentleman's factory and I had it over there, mm -hmm. and I just liked the idea of it because I, you know, I never had Gucci. Yeah, me neither. But I never yeah, cared yeah, to no have Gucci. Gucci. Yeah, I never, yeah, I never cared to have it either. And right. I'm just like, when I seen that, I'm like, that fits me because I'm mm -hmm. like, I'm always the person who wants to stand out to a degree, and I don't want to have to verbally say it. I want right. You want it to speak for itself. Yeah, exactly. So I thought that was dope. And then on the back of it, mm -hmm. you, you seem to have that a, a lot of times because you're saying you had the, the, the pharaoh and the yeah. chains on it. With that one, you had not another real, never had a real Gucci. And on the back of it, what you had on it? I had the cease and desist that Gucci sent me. Wow. Like I, I made the shirt and then I put it up online and maybe like eight months later, they sent me a cease and desist telling wow. me to discontinue it. But wow. so, I, so I took the letter that they sent me and put it on the back of the the back of the design because I felt like, <laughs> wow wow I felt like it was a three sixty like yeah why not like you know like if you telling me stop making these and it's a fake I'm gonna take that yeah and I'm a I'm a yeah it's a fake but now you're saying it's a fake yeah and you're acknowledging yeah. that it's a fake so why yeah. not put it together you know yeah exactly so, yeah. so what got you into making clothes. Um, I think it came natural to me. My mom is very much into fashion, and my dad, um, he's a painter, and he does upholstery. Oh, wow. Yeah, and he does upholstery, so... Nice. Um, I've always been around him, like, you know, remaking things and yeah. um, working with fabric, so I think it just came natural. Um, the t-shirts, I'm very much into, like, of course, hip-hop culture, and um, it's like black culture in the South, and we do, we wear a lot of t-shirts, we wear a lot of hoodies, yeah. we, a lot of urban wear, so... Um, Definitely. Once I realized, okay, it's not that hard. I want to yeah. make my own stuff. Yeah. So it came, it just came easy to me. Like I, I started off making my own things, and then mm -hmm. people saw it and they wanted it. So. I love business. <laughs> Let's I do. Talk. That's right. my thing. Mm -hmm. Take me to that. Take me to that whole process of what it takes, what it costs, mm -hmm. how to run mm -hmm. a clothing company. Um, to me, the the hardest part, and I think for everyone, is getting capital. Mm -hmm. Right, um, because you're gonna you you can acquire the the inventory, but it's like okay, now I have this inventory. How do I get rid of it? How do mm -hmm. I sell it? Right. Yeah. So you could be sitting on a gold mine, and yeah. if you don't know how to get rid of it, that can be very hard. Um, I learned how to sc I start off, but I learned how to screen print. Um, because first I was making my shirts like on this website called Custom Ink. I it, heard of that. Yeah, and but they're charging me thirty dollars for a shirt, so I'm God like, damn, what the hell? I'm supposed to sell these shirts for like <laughs> right. nobody wants sixty seven. Yeah, you at the same. It's a cotton t shirt. Like, I don't want to pay fifty dollars for a cotton t shirt. No. Just off the bat, but um, 
Shout to ASAP Ferg. He was my homeboy at the time, and he was like, "Yo, I'm a teacher." Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we're from Harlem, so he, right, 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 right. Nice, right. Nice. So he was like, "I'm gonna teach you how to screen print." Mm. So he was like, "Yo, how to who print?" I'm sorry. How to screen print? Screen print. Yeah. So we, um, he went down the Canal Street, made some screens, brought them back uptown, and that's how I learned how the ink goes through the screen and gets applied to the shirt. So we we bust out a couple shirts, and I was like, "Okay, cool." There's print shops around the neighborhood. Mm-hmm. I'm not because I really don't care to screen print myself but i learned that you could just pay for this oh so then i saved up some money i did that and then um after i did that i realized okay i gotta sell these things right so mm-hmm. the getting the capital that i had to save for that that's one part the second part is like you have these things and you have to get rid of them so at the time i think instagram had just launched so yeah. at the time it was like chronological so you don't have to you didn't have to do as much yeah. now Oh yeah, As yeah, yeah. Back that, then, yeah. back then you just so was that like 2010, 2012? Yeah, that was mm. like a like yeah. The the idea for the brand started out in twenty eleven, and I mm. really launched it like twenty twelve. Yeah, you been doing this for a while. I've been doing it for a while, but um, I stopped. Mm. I stopped. It hasn't been like continuous. Okay. Um, and once I learned, like, okay, there's Instagram. I knew how to I knew how to make a website, like because you know I'm in school for this thing. So really? it just became it came easy, yeah. God, yeah, I went to school for communication slash advertising. So, see, yeah. the CUNY taught you well. It, it did, it did. I you got another CUNY baby <laughs> right, in here. Right, right. I work. Yeah, yeah, that's CUNY. I'm yeah. CUNY. Yeah. You CUNY. <laughs> yeah. CUNY's where it's at. We trying to. We we got uh, my niece on the boards. Maya. <laughs> I want her to go to you CUNY too. To, does right? she want to go to CUNY? Uh? You want to go to CUNY, Maya? <laughs> <laughs> Why CUNY over SUNY? Yeah. Why CUNY answer. over SUNY? It's cheaper. Um, I got a I got a uh, scholarship, so I was like, if I oh, stay here, I don't yeah. got to pay nothing. So see, I work there, so they pay for it. So, oh, so yeah, you, you know good, what I'm saying? Right. And I mean, and it's not enough. It's not a lot of Sunnis to me in the city. It's, there's no, there's, there's really not. Yeah, it's, it's, I feel like it's an out of state. Thing, yeah, it's right? like purchase and all of that out out of the. But out it's of hours away. That's yeah, it's hours. Yeah. So it's like Sunni is cool if you want to get like a a. a Going away experience, like you want to be. Oh, I want to feel like an adult. Now, I thought I wanted that, so no, I didn't want that. Shit, no, I didn't want the debt that came with it. So. No word. <laughs> and it's cheaper, you know, it's cheaper being in SUNY than like going to like right, another right. state because mm-hmm. they, they discriminate with the rates. So <laughs> for real, you know what I'm saying? One, if you live in the state, you get one fee. If your right, parents went there, it's another fee. Mm-hmm. But, um, so. Because you did that, mm-hmm. because you um, shit, um, I lost track of thought. But um, <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask, like, when it comes to your statement tees, like, I love t t shirts. Uh-huh. Issa Rae had a shirt, and I I had the shirt. I'm rooting yeah. for everybody black, right? Oh yeah, because she said that. Yeah, yeah, it was dope at first. Like, I'm with my peoples. Like, right. I'm rooting for everybody that's black. Next thing you know, I'm like. Everybody Where do I wear this shirt to? Because it started getting real funky. People start reading your statements like, ah, like, you know, so. Oh, it has to, um, have words on it? Yeah, it said I'm rooting for everybody black. Next oh, thing you know, the wrong you. person read it, they be like, oh, well, how you You know, it, it, that's funny because I, I have a few graphic t-shirts that has like the same um, sentiment to it. Like I have a t-shirt that it's an equation and it equals super black, right? Oh, I didn't see that one. You I didn't see, see that, that one. one. Oh, you would have loved that, right? Hell that on yeah. It. Right. But um, I feel like when I wear it, I do get I do get them looks, but I don't care. <laughs> like yeah. I'm black. You notice yeah. that and I'm proud to be black. So yeah. why can't I be proud to be who I am? Like Was that something like you had to work towards? Cause like I said, we always have to like Cold switch when right, we in space. Right. Even sometimes mm. in the, um, our friend groups, like we could be chilling here. And we right. have one well, difference where it's like, oh, you know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so how, how does that work? I, th- like? I think I learned it too because I was in corporate America when I graduated. I did advertising for a little bit, and it's a very white environment, mm. and um, your opinion is valued at times, right? Like mm. all the time when we need them. Right, right, <laughs> when, right. When it's needed. So. Um, I think it is something you learn, but I feel like my parents also instilled that in me. We're, we're Jamaican, and from when I was younger, my mother always been on some, we black, and I'm happy to be black, and we beautiful. So, like, no, that, yeah, that, has been, that. that has yeah. been, the like, mm-hmm. you know, the pinnacle of who I am. So, it's like, it's easy for me yeah. to be proud of myself. I'm yeah. very comfortable, like, 
You yeah. can't be mad at me because I am who I am. Yeah, like, yeah. I, right. I didn't ask to be black. I right. am black, and I'm happy that I am. Mm-hmm. So I'm I got a question. This, you I have me? a question. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. yeah. Do, do you ever have a white person buy your shirt? I do. I, white people do buy my stuff. For real? Um, really? There, oh, what's yeah, that experience is. like? Oh, uh, and what kind of white person? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's, there's like, there's a few different type of white people. There's the, there's the white people who come in and they're like, I love what you're doing. What can I buy that I'm not like, you know, like representing, mm-hmm. um, or offending, uh, yeah, offending like, the culture. You know, really, they ask that. They ask that, and wow. I love that, and I love mm-hmm. that, and I'm like, That's you a, buy this, this, yeah. this, and that, because although some of my stuff is very like. Uh, black culture and black forward. There's other things where like, it has a, just a logo on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah, a never yeah. have a Gucci like yeah. you know. There's but would other... you make a shirt like catered for white people too? I don't, not in mine. I don't be like, oh, I'm gonna make this for white people. But oh, okay, right. um, there as the brand goes, there's things I make that like okay, everybody yeah, can yeah, wear yeah. this. Right. You know, this is this like, is you can general. Wear a logo tee. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Like you know. But you know what about that? It's like why. Why do we have to put them in mind? Right. Do, do, some, right. do white people always put like us in mind? No, 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 no. They're like, do we have to put a black person in this? They do think that. They do. <laughs> I think now, I think I think now it's a thing, right? Yeah, I but think, but, but I think you reason. just make what's good and whoever buy, yeah. wears it, wears yeah. it. Like, that's yeah. what he's kind of saying. Like, you don't have to, like, uh, uh, go for a certain... Well, we're going for the black black audience. Right, right. And if they cool with it, then that's it. Right. Like you don't have to that's go. That's the target market. You don't, yeah, right. You, but you don't need them in mind. Is what right. I'm saying. Yeah, like, yeah. they gonna buy it regardless. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because if it's you, popping, it's popping. Like. Yo, when you think of Abercrombie and Fitch, they make they don't think of you. You know what I'm and, saying? And like, <laughs> back in the nineties, they used to be like, oh, there's brands, and you know we're wearing them. They didn't want us to wear yeah. it. Right? Abercrombie and Fitch, <laughs> yo, <laughs> like right. they was extremely selective. Right, they didn't right. even have they didn't right. even, Like if you was black and working in the store, you probably was in the back. Look, you, come on. You know what I'm saying? You was not on the floor or nothing. Like, and that thing was wild racist in there. And that's something I, I've thought about. Like, a lot of people don't design with us in mind. So yeah, it's like, exactly. I, I don't really, I'm not pressed, like, to design with. Yeah, that yeah. Mind. Like, I, you know, I do appreciate the people that do support me, of mm-hmm. course. But um, I'm here for, I'm here for us. You know, yeah. I'm making something for us. I agree. I, I think also, I, I think you should never do that because... Is it art or is it commerce at that point? Mm. Because when you making like when a rapper's rapping, mm-hmm. the good ones usually don't rap with some audience right. in mind. They're rapping what they feel. It's what just they so, feel what they've been through. Yeah. Their, their experience. Yes. Right? And then what what makes them human? Right. It so just so right. happens that when people hear it, they like it. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? But they don't go, oh, I'm gonna do this for my white fans. Right. Or, That's a fact. You, you know what I'm fact. saying? Yeah. I, I think that that's what works, like, because sometimes, like, I don't even like when rappers say I'm doing this for women. No, <laughs> I don't like that. Like, I like, I think, a, like, if you like women, you should do the song. Right, right. But, you know what I'm but saying? Like, oh, this song for my ladies. Yeah, like, like I'm, I'm doing it specifically. <laughs> no, I like women. Right, right, I'm going right. to talk about stuff that women, that appeals right. to women. Right. I, that's a part of me. Right. And I also think, like, I, what thing I learned in school, um, being that, you know, we're doing marketing, it's like, when you make things, one thing cannot be for everybody. Like mm. it's never gonna like, work that yeah. way. Never, it's not gonna never. go nowhere if you're trying never. to make because it, that's just too far for you. You know, can't please everybody. Niche, right? yeah. You can't. Not you at can't. the same time so anyway. Your, yeah, exactly. You find your niche and you own in on that. Right. How hard is that to um to do? To uh be to make a product and not have everybody in mind, but you want it to be successful financially it, it, it's it's hard right because you do like i do certain events and i'm like okay i don't belong in this event because mm-hmm. this is not my target market mm-hmm. but i feel like the the more you do what your niche is yeah. the more you own in on that the more you understand it so mm-hmm. that you don't waste your time like um yeah, yeah it's 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 something that i I've, I've struggled with back and forth because at times i'm like yeah let me just do let me just design for everybody so i can yeah. just make some money right yeah. but then it doesn't feel authentic, doesn't feel real, it doesn't yeah. feel like something I'm proud of. Yeah. So I'd rather not. No, I mean, even with this podcast, that's that's always a struggle. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Me and my partners, right. Bug G, Prime. Right. We we talk about that where it's like, are we you know, like who are we doing this show for? Like mm-hmm. what is the you know, the the vision and the mission mm-hmm. isn't gonna make everybody happy. Okay. But when something blows up and it catches on 
do we change? Do we, you know, do, do we pivot change? the vision? Nah. And it's like, no, nah, because what blew up is what you were doing. Like, don't mm. change that. Like, keep that same formula. Yeah, yeah. So, it's, it's, it's. I think as business people, you you think about that because you want to. It's you know we yeah. live in a very capitalist society, so you want to make money. Yeah, but um, you don't want to like sell your soul type. Exactly. Shit. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. you want to look in the yeah, mirror. It's like a balance. Like yeah. right, you gotta be right. balanced. How do you know ASAP Ferg and all of them like that? How do I know Ferg? I want to know. Yo? I feel like it's such a long time ago. Because that's a close China. relationship with right, people like right. yo. Shout out to Ferg, right? But I Shout feel out like to um, Ferg. yo, what did I? I think someone told me like, yo, I know my homeboy making shirts. He could show you how to make them. Mm. And then I remember us like emailing each other bo- like before I met him. We emailed wow. and I was sending him like the pictures of stuff I wanted to put mm. on T-shirts. And then we linked up, and then we was cool since. Wow. Yeah. Like, y'all still talk? He, be, he a busy man. He well, a busy yeah. man. But uh, if I see him or, or y'all send him a DM, yeah, he there. He ain't never tried, you ain't never tried to be able to put your stuff on? I did. In the beginning, I had them on it. Like, my really? first T-shirts, yeah. How did that feel? It felt great, but we was both hustling at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> so we was like, all right, cool, take the picture yeah, now. Yeah. Now do the white one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> And then when um, ASAP, they started to blow up, it was like, it was harder to get reach of them. Because, yeah. you know, these are busy people now. But um, it's always been love, so, yeah. I got a question about yeah. Harlem. Like, we yes. all from the city, but being from Queens, like, Harlem people just look distinctive. What why? is that? Really? You think so? Tell me why we're distinctive, though. Well, you gotta ask Dame Dash right. that. <laughs> <laughs> Fashion is a thing. Like mm-hmm. when you think about, like back in the days with Cameron, pink like, first, like so, that was their thing. Right. Like yeah, and when you yeah. see Harlem people, you just know. You know, right, look at ASAP right. Rock. You just know. It's just a distinctive right. thing where it's just like, what do y'all do in Harlem? Like, is it because y'all so close to like the city with the high echelon fashion? Right. But Harlem people just have a distinctive look. Have you walked in Harlem before? Like, yeah. Have you just walked? Yes. I feel like nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> 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 and I think that's what it comes from. Like, like people don't care so much, so yeah. you're going to do you. Mm, and I, yeah. I feel like that bleeds into everyone. Like, Yeah. I I'm think a, she has a point, though, as in be, it being in Manhattan. That, yeah. So you got more cultures out there. So it's That's like, true. It's a little it's more freedom. blend. Yeah, it's, it's more like, freedom. Right. You I can't do that, that out here yeah. in right, Queens. You because you, There's you, a man riding a horse. <laughs> 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 you talking about wearing clothes though, but attire is different. Attire is different. That's when, true. When that's true. Um, Harlem always been known, like even when you think about, it, like, like we, like you know somebody from Harlem when they come through, like he must be from Harlem wearing all that. Right, wearing like, all that. Right, right. And it's not like a bad thing. You just know. But yeah, growing up, like yeah, Dipset was everything. Right? <laughs> like just yeah. being from Harlem made me proud because yeah. everybody jigged in Harlem. At, right. Oh my, right. I worked in Harlem. Harlem, everybody's jigged in Harlem. Yo, remember when the, um, <laughs> yo, remember what, what boots was it? The, uh, the Ugg boots? The Adirondack yo, boots? Everybody, everybody had in them there. Son, all did kind of flavors. I did. Okay, I had so to. Yeah, they yeah. had, they influenced me. I was like, I need one of those, man. Right, I right. had to. You know what? Right. They had the gray ones. They had the yep. black, yo. Yeah. They had they had their five year olds in these books. Everybody like, is a, a family affair, right? Yo, <laughs> everybody be dipped up but in there. I think I think a lot of people just just do them, and you might be right with the that Fifth Ave is not too is a few miles yeah, away, right? right? So it could be that it could Harlem be that. is a yeah. distinctive lifestyle. Compared and I think to the rest. I think if we really like think about it, like the Harlem Renaissance, all that stuff back then, mm-hmm. they, fashion was a big yeah, thing, yeah, right? Yeah, so maybe yeah. it still transcended from there. Yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. went to Harlem, especially when they came from the south. Yeah, right, like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, right. First. That's a fact. Fun fact: oh, when uh, Fidel Castro came to um, to America one time when after he took over uh, mm-hmm. Cuba, Cuba, yeah, nobody wanted to um, uh, like give him a hotel or nothing wow. like that. So he had yeah, to go to I Harlem. He, came to Har- he went yeah. to the Teresa yeah. Hotel, yeah. And they and they um, when he met with Russia and all that, they met in Harlem. Yo, what's funny? I have a Sada T-shirt, right? Mm-hmm. And um, like when I read her story and how like. Cuba like took her in. Yeah. And that's where she's exiled right now. Yeah. It's like, okay, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Asada Shakur. Asada, Asada yeah, Shakur, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense that she's in Cuba and they're protecting her. Yeah, right. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. That was just, I just, you know, it is so much history in Harlem. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. This is so dope. So you start making the shirt. Yeah. ASAP first helps you and stuff like right. that. When do you start, um, when do you make your first sale? How does that feel? My first sale, I think my first sale was like, 
my friends, like my close friends who mm-hmm. saw what mm-hmm. I was doing at the time I was on Facebook and yeah. they saw I was doing, they was like, I'm gonna send you the money or I'm gonna come pick it up. Yeah. It, it felt like, it felt, you know, like, you know when you do something and someone like appreciates it? Yeah. It's a very like yeah. heartwarming feeling. It felt like you're, you're on the right path. So my friends have been very, very supportive. Mm-hmm. Like my best friend from when I started, he modeled for me. He, wow. he was there with events. Um, my friend group has been very supportive in that aspect. And so is my family. My family, I think like my second order was like my cousin ordering online. Really? Or yeah. So. Wow. You told yeah. And I, I would want him to do it online so you can see. Right, you yeah. Can get the actual I was numbers. trying to push everybody. Like, don't, don't <laughs> yeah. come up to my apartment and give me yeah. the money. Do it online, right? Because I know I need to file taxes and stuff yeah. for it. I know I want to get grants and loans. Like, I learned all that. So it's like, let's let's have a paper chart here, I tell you. For real. Yeah. When do you start taking it like, all right, I'm going to take this like a full-time job? When do you start taking it serious like that? I had different waves with that. The first okay. time I took it seriously, it was, um, I was like 25 at the time. I lo- I got laid off at my job. I was working mm-hmm. like a UPS store. I was working there yeah. for like throughout college. So I was there for like five years. The owner's like, I'm selling it. I was like, damn, I. Right. Wow. He was like, you can stay, but they're gonna lower your um, pay or you get unemployment. What kind of shit is that? <laughs> yeah. He's selling it. Like, he, he's telling me what they're gonna do. Yeah. Like, you know. So I was like, I was a, I was a, like the manager at the time. So I was mm-hmm. like, I'm not gonna stay if I'm getting paid less because I don't even want to do this. Yeah. Um. So, I end up leaving. And then taking the unemployment. And I was like, this shit mad sweet. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, getting, like I'm getting paid. Free money. <laughs> I'm getting paid, but I'm still doing my business on the yeah, side. Yeah. So that's when I took it seriously. And for like a good year and a half, I was like, oh wow. I was making t-shirts. I was selling them. I was learning like, okay, I'm going to do pop-up shops. Like, um, I was learning that whole, you know, spew of things. But then money got tight. You know, mm-hmm. money I be mean, built to be paid. You can only live off your savings for so long yeah. and the business is not going as far as I want it to go. Mm. So um I got into education. Oh, you wouldn't I got, teach or something like yeah, that? Yeah, I was an administrator um at a charter school. So oh, I was wow. doing oh, like okay. registration and stuff like that. Right. And um the school though, people still I was still doing my brand, so yeah. they knew what it was. I was selling to my coworkers and stuff like that. And the school was like, Oh, we wanna do a design with you. Wow. And, and that was the first time like a school wanted to work with me and they paid me to do a design and then to print the shirts to sell. And I was like, wow, there's something in this. Like yeah. I can make some like I'm making what I make in two weeks in two days. So so that um so then I started designing their that was for Black History Month, but mm. then after that I'm like I could do regular yeah. designs like you know if we have like testing weekend i want to make shirts we'll do that yeah so um shout out to leadership prep um shout right out to leadership prep. <laughs> yeah um and i learned like okay this is something i could do so while i was doing the job i'm planning like okay i'm gonna get out of this work because i'm living in harlem but i'm working in brooklyn in brownsville Ooh, so it was like that's a distance. it's far that's right it's far so um i worked there for a year and then um from there I still wasn't ready to take my brand seriously, mm-hmm. right? Like, I was like, it's good side money, but, like, yeah. can I really live off this? Yeah. And I felt at the time I wasn't ready for that. It's such a hard leap to take, right? Uh, because like, yeah. <laughs> 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 it is. Because we, we get comfortable where we at, and yeah. we keep telling ourselves, no, nah, I'm going to get to it. But, like, time is really not on our side type shit, right? Yeah. So um, I still wasn't ready. So I went to Democracy Prep, another charter, and I was doing... Oh, I was mi- going to work there too. Really? That's crazy. Yeah, really? Yeah, you was going to go to Harlem? I was going to go to Harlem. <laughs> I love Harlem. <laughs> I love Harlem. You sound like you're from Harlem. Harlem. Did, right. With all the bees and all that. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Like, yeah. 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 Probably, probably where I get it from. Like, I worked right. in Harlem for like four or five years. Yeah. Love Harlem. I, I love dude. it. I love the kids. I was there for a good, like, two, three years. Then the pandemic hit. Mm. So I'm home, and I'm still doing my brand because now people are buying more because they're home, right? Yeah, they're, on, yeah. they're on their phones, right. they're on yeah, their laptops yeah. even more. How much did it spike up? Like, it, it, it I would like, say, I would oh. say it spiked up like a good, like sixty percent. Yeah, everything was everything wow. because people everything were shopping. Was, everybody was, everybody was buying. Oh, the pandemic, right? Yeah, wow. pandemic, and yes. people had money during yeah, the pandemic. Right. Right. All that unemployment, Come yeah, on. Yeah. 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 people had so Bro, I, was like, I see yeah. myself doing that. <laughs> 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 You're not going nowhere. You're not going nowhere. We right. buying clothes to stay in the house, but Girl. I wasn't mad at it, right? Yeah, I know you was. And, and, and during the time we had like all those uh, those uprises going yeah, on, you yeah, know, yeah. Like, oh. 
George Floyd, all that, right? So it was like my shirts were like res, uh, resonating with people, yeah. you know, like because it's about yeah, black culture. Oh, that's it. It's not the corny know. shit with like Afro shit. Yeah, yeah, like perfect timing. It, yeah, it was. Yeah. It was perfect timing. Oh, yeah. So yeah. yeah. I didn't think about that. Yeah, that was happening. So then. Um, I got on a, like a video call with my my, with my uh, principal at the time, and she knew I wanted because mm-hmm. I, I I was very vocal. Like I have my brand, I'm printing with that school, yeah. so everyone knows what it is. And yeah. it's like, okay, are you going to stay? Are you going to leave? You like you got one foot in, one foot out. And she hit me on some like, you staying or not? Because. I got somebody else who want this job. Wow. You know, like, <laughs> wow. You know, I, know, I felt some type of way. Right? But, but in retrospect, like I needed to hear that. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. If she was just like, oh, make your mind up and let me know, I probably wouldn't have still, I probably yeah. would have still been there. Like, yeah. I would have just been trying to juggle both knowing I can't juggle both. Yeah, yeah. So um, I was like, all right, fine. Give him the job. I'm going to leave. And um, I left. And things have been good. Like, I Things wow. have been good. So so now like I focus on designing for I design for others. I still do the school thing. So I'm I'm still working with a few schools that I make stuff for them. And I'm she, she gonna collab with her. Thanks for asking. But um, it's been a while, like, and I'm learning um, because I'm about to be certified um, as a black woman um, in business. There's like oh, resources nice. out there. For oh, that. really? So, yeah. 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 How do you increase brand awareness? Like, how was that journey for you? It's it's um like I said when I first got on Instagram, it was easy because yeah, it was chronological. People were seeing it, but now that um you know yeah. it's about like algorithms and stuff, like it's harder. And I'm learning that I need to post more. So it's a struggle I'm going oh, with because I don't, I don't care to show my face. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But I realize a lot of people are buying into my brand because of who I am. Mm-hmm. Right. And, and right. that's what it is. Like, I feel like now, before, back in the days, it was like, oh, I like this shit. It's fly. Yeah, yeah. But now you want to know who creates it that's and why fair. they create that's it and how they create it. So yeah. it's like, I, it's a battle that I'm literally dealing with now. Like, okay, I need to show my face. I need to post mm-hmm. more. So mm-hmm. I got two questions. Yeah. One thing you said, like, when George Floyd was there, like, everybody was loving on black people. Like, right. you saw what loving on black people did for business. Right. Like, what do you think that would do for us? Because right now, you know, thank God there are you no know, George Floyd, but things right. are happening. But when that momentum dies, mm-hmm. so does the economics in our right. community. Like, mm. it does die, but um, like I said, like, you got to own in on your niche. So my niche is still there. Like there's still people who are buying and still supporting. And I feel like as a business, you're gonna have your ebbs and flows. So yeah. I just took that as it's an ebb and flow. Like yeah. that was that was a pivotal where everyone was like, I want to support you know a small mm-hmm. black yeah, business, yeah. especially mm-hmm. a woman owned business. So you know I I took that, but I realized that's not something that's forever. Mm-hmm. So that's why you got to find more resources. That's why I want to mm-hmm. get certified. That's why I want to work with more schools mm-hmm. and um. As I grow the brand, you just you just gotta keep doing your research to find other things. My next question is like, yeah. how you protect yourself? Cause that's a big thing out there too. Like, like, like you said, post more, but then you got you got people copying. And yeah. the biggest right. thing, like right. you see that a lot. Like I remember, and this is random. Mm-hmm. Kim Kardashian was going through something with China. She would wear a dress. By the next day, it would be on Sheen. That's and next, yo, you know, it, was, so it became a big lawsuit oh, wow. because mm. it's like, well, you know, I don't have on a Sheen dress. Why right. is it on Sheen? And then now, if y'all go to Sheen, the person who really made it, right. they not getting paid. Right. Like, how do you pr- right. like, like you said, you got to continue to post on Instagram. But then at the same time, I know a lot of designers right. fall back off of Instagram. Beyonce do it. She'd be like, don't film me. <laughs> because it's real like you lose so much money and re because now the biggest thing with with artists is i'm not going to your concert because i could see you on um i can just watch it live yeah, yeah. so right. she was like no nobody's filming me so how do you protect yourself because like you said let me post every day by right. the time you blink right your stuff is in china right that's i feel like it's it's a it's uh it's like a coming of age thing like i we just got to navigate it while we're going through it because this right. is new, right? Mm-hmm. And I've had someone steal my design before, right? Really? Yeah, I did. Um, one of my first designs, it was like a, a pharaoh, and um, a brand started doing this. Literally, it looked, wow. it looked the same. And I sent a cease and desist, and 
eventually they stop. That's Thankfully the thing too. Like problem. if someone's copying you, they might copy it, but they can't copy every single yeah, thing you yeah. do. Mm-hmm. So yeah. you got to keep going. Yeah. And right. you got to hope that, you know, they but, fall but, off. But brands do do that anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah big brands do, do that all the time. Yeah. They said that's what Forever 21 was doing. Just right. copying whatever the latest style that mm-hmm. Balenciaga right. or whoever yeah. else is yeah. doing. Right. It works. It works. It works. And just hopefully as a You can't really protect yourself at the end of the day for that. You can't. Once they see it, it's like the bootleg yeah. where it's a gift and a curse because yeah. it kind of blows right, up that, right. that thing. Right That's now, I get you like, right. Shirt, right? Right. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, but um, you just gotta keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you got, you can't, that can't stop you. That, they say, like, it's supposed to be a flattery thing. And yeah, do you ever, do you ever take anybody's <laughs> um, design on your Um, I feel like even with the Gucci thing, it's like, it, it looks like a Gucci shirt, but it says never have real Gucci. I feel mm. like take I the idea it. and right, try right, to manipulate right. it, and that's yeah. probably what they and do with it. that's how ideas work. It yeah. comes yeah. out right. I forgot who said it, but nothing I don't know if it's new. Picasso, but yeah, yeah it's like, yeah. he said, like, good artists, um, create and uh, I think great artists copy or something like that mm-hmm. but everything is an inspiration there's nothing new under the sun so right, yeah, right, right, people right. are gonna copy and when if, if there is something new in the sun they're gonna OD copy <laughs> right, right. so you just gotta take it for what it is yeah, and just yeah. push forward you know? that's true because when you think about the phones you got Apple and Samsung in court every day every day right <laughs> right it's kind of hard to stop that wow. like, yeah. the, the same the- specs I went today like sweet green. Oh yeah, got sued by Chipotle. Chipotle, and I'm like, what? what? <laughs> 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 like, oh, who did um sweet green? Yeah. I, I would think that um, what's this one over here by the uh, Chipotle? No, no, the Those other totos? one. Huh? Those totos? I would think Chipotle and uh, they're more similar. Cordoba? We Cordoba. That's exactly what I'm talking <laughs> yeah, about. I would think they were two of them. They're more similar. Right. But I haven't even been to Sweet Green, so I don't know how I can yeah. even make that it's statement. It's all the same thing. <laughs> it is. It is. It's all the same thing. It's all the right, same right. thing. Right, right. Cordoba's like that, though, for sure. But nobody even <laughs> mentioned lettuce. He's like, y'all suing over who can make lettuce. <laughs> the right, over right. <laughs> like, well, nah, y'all yeah. was using mixed greens. Well, now right. y'all trying to copy right. us. Like, a t-shirt is still a t-shirt. That's a fact. still a hoodie. That's a to me that shows how much how difficult it is to develop a brand that has a solid position mm-hmm. in their market That's a fact. definitely you know yeah because once you get that position man it's you know either only way you kind of fuck it up is if you're not progressing or you self imploding right you That's know what i'm right, saying right. so you know but even self imploding could help you Max Kanye. You know right. That's what I was thinking. Right? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he, yeah. he's fearless with that. So, you know, yeah, right. sometimes I'll be like, you know, like, oh, he's doing something stupid. But I'm like, where's he going to go with this? Right, <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, like, who's another person like that to me is um the guy who brought Twitter, uh, Elon Musk. Oh, yeah. he's. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, right. yo, know, people were jumping out there, jumping through Hulu, who's like, I ain't going to Twitter and it's just fine right even now. that, even, even that the, now they have that very yeah, the very, thing yeah. where you're paying to be verified yeah. and wow. everybody was like I'm not paying and I'm yeah. like and, and, and it looks like a lot of people paying it's <laughs> yeah. a lot of blue yeah. checks now yeah. right? wow. so. and it's make it's pushing the, the industry because now because Twitter did it what's happening and Instagram right. that's doing a, that's it Facebook a, right. the meta yeah. you know whatever you want to call right. that shit meta they right. all doing they that all shit doing to get it, verified yeah. Yeah. so I seen it on mine like hey can you be verified? You got to pay this. Me and that. too. I see that too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like fifteen dollars a month or something. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So sometimes, like you said, the implode the people who considered self destruction or imploding and destroying themselves, mm-hmm. they really taking the chances and putting the risk, putting the um, pushing the genre forward as opposed to other people. Right. Who are just comfortable in their position and they don't right. want to move. Oh, yeah, yeah, when you get comfortable, you're not gonna move. Yeah. Denzel calls it failing that. forward. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So failing forward? Yeah. Failing forward. Failing forward. Where forward. you're wow. failing forward. Regardless of whatever you're gonna do, you're gonna go forward. Right, right. right. That's but, real. You know, failing forward. Yeah. I was gonna say to you too, like you're starting the, the starting, like people get down to semantics. Like you said, t shirt is a t shirt. Right. Mm-hmm. Like for somebody starting, like, what would you say to them? Because people sometimes, like you said, self implode. I don't want to start because it's not the best it's not the this right, it's not the right. that by the time you blink you don't start like so what would you say to somebody like that i know for me when i was starting i did a, some re- do some research so you because i feel like what stops people from starting is it feels overwhelming it feels mm. like imposter syndrome like i'm not yeah. supposed to be here but if you do the research you, you get a little knowledge and yeah. from that knowledge use that so 
I don't know, when people are starting t-shirt brands and clothing brands, I always tell them, go to a print shop, talk yeah. to the people, see what's going on. So whatever industry you want to start, just do a little research. Yeah. If you want to build cars, go to a, a car manufacturer. And don't overcomplicate it, right? Yeah. Because uh, right, right? you got to just already. do it, like Nike. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just do just it. Just do it, Literally. right? You keep doing all this and you get it... Uh, uh, you try to an- anticipate what's going to happen right. and then you get overwhelmed and stuff yeah. like that. And then exactly. you never do nothing. Yeah. Exactly. Right? You just got to do it. And then you be telling yourself, I ain't do nothing because it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Right. You like, start right, yeah. making excuses for a while. No, I, I'm, I'm definitely that guy. Scared to let it go. <laughs> you overthink? If it wasn't for my sister, yeah. a lot of the companies that I did, wouldn't. I probably wouldn't even really? start. Because... But I keep her... Well, I mean, it's yeah. sister. Right? <laughs> right. But that's yeah. dope. That's really no, dope. No, because I remember one time I used, to, I used to fix phones and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And I was like... I'm like, I got to get it perfected before I start selling it. Jackie seen it one time and was like, oh, you fixed phone? Boom, posted it on her Instagram. <laughs> like a hundred people was like, oh, you fixed phone? Right, like, right. That's, that's how it goes. Right, yeah. yeah. You got to just sometimes put yourself <laughs> out there. Get that, right? And that yeah. shit really taught me like, yo, just fucking do that just shit. Do you it. just got to do that. Through that company, that made me realize like, oh, you're supposed to make mistakes. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm you saying? have to. And I think, at, we, I think as me, I can speak for myself. I like, I look at other people and I'm always like, damn, they doing this. Yeah. I'm not doing this. But yeah. then in the reverse, people are looking at me like, damn, she doing that's this. She's doing right. it. Right. That's, that's right. right. That's right. right. Yeah. yeah. Like we got a lot of people doing podcasts now. Yeah. Nah, doing... Right. So but, it's but like, that's, we got to keep going. But that's what it is right now. It, uh, the podcast game is a new Thing. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. People are gonna keep tapping in. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. makes you different? Yeah, you know? yeah. That's what we gotta always yeah. stay on and point with. Consistency, like you know what keeps me, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. keep yeah. me going. Our blackness, like this mm-hmm. is the thing. Like when you understand who black people are, we started off with little to nothing. No. So when you thinking about it, gotta be the best. Like wait a minute, hold nah. up. Before right, we go any further, right, right. Come our on ancestors now. didn't have the best, Come and on, they and made shit like a dish. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You ground yeah. yourself on stuff like that. I think about a story with my mother. Like, uh-huh. I remember one time, everybody on the block had water guns. Uh-huh. And I was like, I went home. I know I had no water gun. I'm looking at my mother like, Damn, we don't have water guns. No. She went and cleaned out a soap bottle. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. 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 She, had yeah. the, she had the utmost confidence. Like, hey, right, hey, right, hey. Right, right, right. And it wasn't, she gave me a water. It was that confidence. Like, fuck right. it. Like, what right. you gonna do? You still gonna My, play with the kids? Still yeah, that's right. still it's still shooting. It's still shooting. The improvised game was crazy. Right. <laughs> right, right. Oh, D. Right. You know, would have never thought about that. Hell like, no. Think about I'll take that dawn. Yeah. Hit that dawn. Hit it with the dawn. Think about your child. Like, that's like, that's you got, like, you got example. You got examples like that in jail. You got to <laughs> think oh, of no, no, yeah. Nobody is they crazy in there. Oh my God, they mo- they turn out to be geniuses. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's crazy. That's, that's what crazy. struggle that's do right. for you. That's a fact. That's Your a struggle, fact. like to me, anytime you think of you think about where did yeah. we come from? Think and about that, them. That's humble. See, our story. problem is we don't pattern. We don't pattern right. stuff. That's so white the white too. people just come and take it. They're like, yo, this is genius. Yeah, that's a fact. A lot of stuff we don't know though. We learning now. We're getting more. We getting smart as we go along yeah, yeah, we're like yeah, in a yeah. whole new era right. yeah. and, and as a whole we're, we're just smarter I think we're just smarter as a whole I, I agree right, right. And I or more like knowledgeable to, anyway I don't it's no it's same. Yeah, yeah, same I would also small, like to add right. mm-hmm. you know when you know when you say we don't pattern I think I feel like black people culture is different than white people's yeah. culture mm-hmm. in a sense no, of, very different because we're not as capitalistic yeah, yeah like yeah, we, it's about we, community. we come from communities it's like yo girl let me show you something <laughs> You know, we come from communities mm-hmm. where we feel like the land don't belong to us. It's it's the earth. Right. right. You, you know what I'm that's saying? True. Like, right. that's not, we don't go, you know, if you look at, even go back to like the ancient times uh-huh. and stuff like that, a piece of land doesn't belong to a human. It's the it's, earth. It's the earth. Right. Everybody can use it. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. I'm just here at the moment. Yeah. Right. And we just, you know, so when you see European culture, they'll come and say, Oh, I own this part right right, here. You know what I'm saying? saying? Like, so it's foreign to us to even to fathom that way. It's like this is just the earth. Like, what what are we doing? They're not connected. You know, everything is just separate. We're connected to this, and we feel it. That's why they tell you sometimes they even don't have no shoes on and and make and make connection with the ground and the trees and stuff like that because we came from that. 
culture right. yeah. where we're one with the land. They're not. There's no connection there yeah. for them. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? If you yeah. kind of notice how they move, and yeah. that's probably why they see it like that. You know, mm-hmm. like, you know, they're looking to own instead of being one with the land. I never thought about that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's right. why for us, it's like ownership, that doesn't really mean nothing to us. Like, right. yo. And we worry about the acts and stuff like that. Cause that's what we that's what we have. The the earth, I die, you die, that's just gonna be there. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah, saying? Yeah, like that's not how right. we was raised. You know what I'm saying? Right. We raised the community. You my sister, you my sister, right. you my brother, you my yeah, you yeah. don't have to be a physical blood brother. That yeah, don't yeah, matter. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. No, 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 like that. Right. And as you saying yeah. that, I'm thinking about like it's not to say patent. I think it's shame. Like, you know how many times we get by, we come to school looking fresh. God knows what we did to get there. Right. It's the shame we feel that we don't big up the process. You understand mm-hmm. what right, I'm saying? Right, right, so, right, you right. know, you saying that made me think like, like as I learned how to like to post in social media, mm-hmm. people want to see that. Yeah. yeah. What's yeah. 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 And sometimes I'll be like, Nah, I only got it's like three shame. orders today. I ain't post. But people want to see that you are human, that yeah, you are yeah, yeah, going yeah. through what you're going through. You're so through like, right. yeah. they, they're able to connect to that. Yeah, it's that yeah. shame. So, like, yeah. It's yeah. not even a pet for us. It's the shame we got to let go of. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, think about... Because we want to be perfect. Yeah, yeah, like, you think about times when your parents made stuff, like... I, like sewing clothes and stuff. We walking around. I don't want to tell nobody. My, we yeah, want to go yeah, in there. Yeah. I brought it from the store. But right, that, like, right. Yeah. Oh, we were sewing labels. Yeah, 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 yeah. We were sewing yeah, yeah, yeah. labels right. on the back of the shirt. Now I'm gonna do my own hair, and I'm like, I yeah. don't want to. I don't. I want to go to the now, salon. Now, yeah, now, yeah, now, like you give anything to do with yourself now, yeah. like, yes, and yes. we don't. Re- this generation is different. They like they they doing them, and I'm happy for them. But mm-hmm. we come from a space where we felt so, like you said, I ain't at the salon, so it don't look good. Meanwhile, since you you yeah, doing like it, yeah. That. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. 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 I think yeah. it's shame that come with that, especially yeah. like when it come to our fashion, like yeah. that's if yeah. it's not because like, we were made to be shame, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Go back to my brand name, Black and Ugly. We are made to be shame, but it's really a, it's a, it's a good thing. thing. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. who we yeah. are. Like, well, so speaking of shame, yeah. oh, I don't want to say shame, but speaking of like tough times, like explain to me some of the toughest times you had with this brand, and how'd you get through it? Um, I feel like growing it that has been the hardest part, right? Because mm-hmm. like you, you get orders, you have your customers who come. But it's like, how do I get more capital? How do I, how do I get seen more? Mm. And that it's a struggle, and I'm still going through it. That's mm. the hardest part. Um, it's a learning process, and um, I'm learning to trust other people because, like, your team could be so big, yeah, and it can it's gonna stay in that circle. But like, you get more people, and you trust more people, yeah, it it gets bigger. So I'm learning to trust people more, and. It's my baby, right? Yeah. So it's like, yeah, yeah. I, feel like it's yeah, right. I feel like I could do it yeah, good, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I can't do a hundred things. Yeah, I can't yeah. do a hundred things. And that, that's what make it hard, cause it's like food, right? Yeah. Food, yeah. you'll keep eating the same food, like you keep buying the same food. Right. But with clothes, you got so many different varieties and yeah. like yeah. different people that you want to mess. So it's it's mad hard. I know it, it is. It is. It and is. It and is. it's like you see trends too. It's like, yeah, yeah, yo, yeah. I know this is popping right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. But this has nothing to do with my brand. Should Ooh, I do it? Yeah, yeah. Have you gave into that feeling before? Um, no, I haven't. I haven't on. What? I haven't. I haven't to the, to like my audience, but mm-hmm. like at home on the laptop, I'm like, yeah, let me try this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but but um, I'm also learning like 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 I said earlier, people want to see the real. They want to know what you're going through. So it's like I'm just, learning to be open is another thing I, I'm learning. I'm learning that. There, there's no right way to to be like authentic and be real. There's, mm. there's like your shirt says, there's no way to be raw, right? Yeah. Like you just gotta do it. Yeah. You gotta do it, and you see how it goes, and just mm-hmm. you know the 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 mindset is to stay stay true to your brand. Like I feel like I am my target market, right? Mm-hmm. So it's like if I saw this, how would I feel about this? And yeah, like, and I gotta go with that idea. Just recently, you did mm-hmm. something with Mark, uh, Steve Madden. Yeah. Steve Madden, yeah. So talk they, about that. Talk about it. Right, 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 right. Let's talk about it. So, um, this is for only Harlem residents. They had there's the Harlem Festival of Culture. I don't know if y'all saw the documentary on Hulu. It's called Summer of Soul. No. But there was this like big concert series that happened in the sixties. Oh and it had, yeah, yeah. It had like Nina Simone, and they left Stevie out the Wonder. black artists and stuff. Yeah, so like it was it was free to the public. It happened in Morris Park. And it was like a, a weekend long event, and 
like I said, the biggest artist came, but it wasn't like publicized. No one really knew about it. The state, the tapes are like, you know, in a basement for like 50 years and they just found it. They made that documentary. So please watch it. Oh, I'm not. So watch yeah, that. watch so it. So hold on. Let me see. Watch it. Were the blacks there and they didn't film it? I mean, they didn't um show it? Uh, there's films, but it's just like the, the like, Media at the time. Yeah, they didn't push it out. Yeah, but, they didn't but, push but, it out because it was black but, people. The black okay, people was you. used to like bring people into the community, but the black people didn't feel the resources from it. I remember right. reading oh, about right, that. Right, right, a right, lot right. of the black right. people yeah. wasn't happy about it because they thought that this would be an opportunity for them to showcase their work, but right. nobody censored black people. Nope. Mm. It was about white people advertising, using mm. black bodies, mm. right. but right. black wow. people didn't receive right. what they right. needed from that. Mm. Yeah. Gotcha. Please watch that documentary yeah. somewhere. So, so um, they're bringing that, that back, that mm. concert right. oh, wow. bringing it back. Okay. Um, yeah, it's gonna be like a week long event, the end of July, July 28th, um, it starts. Um, so Steve Matten partnered up with Harlem Festival Culture and they need a design that's going to, you know, represent the, the, the festival. So, um, you know, they took the designs in. I, I submitted my design, and I won, like, audience favorite design. Wow. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because wow. I'm from Harlem. I, I know what the people want, right? No so, doubt. <laughs> and I watch it, like I said, I watch the documentary, like, a million times. So I designed something that definitely speaks to Harlem, and it's going to be a part of the uh, festival when it happens. So, yeah. I'm looking very forward to that. Wow. So, yes. And shout out to Steve Madden. They, they're trying to work with like black black people in itself, but like black companies and you know, you they try to do right? their part. I, yeah, I, I met him. Yeah, he took, we, we met, I met him like three times. So yeah. How did you, three different occasions? Yeah, yeah. How? Yeah. Like what is that? Because I mean, he's prolific in his work in the right, 90s right. and stuff like that. So so through this, through since me, since I was a finalist, that was mm -hmm. the part of, um, I feel like this program was really good because it wasn't just like, oh, we're going to use your image and your name. And mm -hmm. they did not. We went to the showroom. We visited their shoe factory. We met the executives. Um, there was the award show where everybody came. So it was, it was very hands-on. And um, I met him at the factory. Actually, it was, I'm sorry, it was twice. I met him at the factory and I met him at the award show. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you, did you pitch him? Yo, invest in my... You know um, not yet, but I got something. You know? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got something, yeah. Like the shirt says, yo, the black shit. of the college is sweeter than knowledge. I got, I got it. Yeah, and if you look at this real quick... Let the camera see that. Yeah, oh, like, yeah, we got, let me yeah. take the little lint That's off of me, you feel me? Nice. Excuse that right there, but um, it says um, black of the college is sweeter than knowledge, so um, it's very hard to get licenses. Um, for these different colleges. So I took a little piece of logos and I made mm -hmm. a collage work of it. Mm -hmm. So it's like about um, 16 different colleges in the mm -hmm. word college. HSBCU? Yeah. HBCU. HBCU. I didn't go to one. I really wanted yeah, I to in retrospect. Yeah, I mean, but, you know, things happen how they're supposed to happen. Word. So, you yeah. know, um, how is it trying to get funding? Uh, angel investing capital, uh, venture capitalists and stuff like that, venture capital ventures. Right. How does that... Have you tried any of that? And is it difficult being a black woman doing that? Um, I would say prior to 2020, it was difficult. Mm. Um, since 2020, they've made initiatives. Um, it's not as hard as it used to be. Yeah. And I, I've applied to things. I've won things. Um, I just say, just do your research. It's out yeah. there. It's really out there. Like So if somebody wanted to get, uh, if you're a clothing brand, and you want to get capital funding from like a, a venture capitalist firm or something like that, right. how would they do that? Um, I guess they they contact you, right? Because they. No, I mean. Are you talking about if I wanted the yeah. capital? I ain't gonna hold you. I've been very very um funny with it because I don't want to give up my rights. Like I know. It's, I watch a lot of uh, Shark Tank and yeah. I and I know like you give a percentage, they get a percentage. Yeah. I, and I and I want to still be true to the brand. I know mm. that once more people are on, they have opinions, right? Yeah. It's very rare that you find silent investors. Um, yeah. It's, it's it's what your brand wants. If you know like you need money and you know that you're able to bend, then go ahead and do that. But if you know you that's not you, then mm -hmm. you got to find other ways to do it. So if somebody wants to mm -hmm. start a clothing company, mm -hmm. what are some ways they can um, they can find ways to get financial resources and, and things of that nature? Um, at, there's SBA in Harlem. There's um, the Harlem Business Alliance. Mm -hmm. Um, Columbia University. I took a course. I took a like a. I did a thing called 
Uh, it was a local vendor program where they taught us like, uh, you know, finances. They taught us how to market. There's, really? There's, yeah, there's there's things yeah, out there. Yeah. Chase has one that I'm applying for. So there's there's programs out here that they're trying to help black businesses because mm-hmm. it's a thing now. So, mm-hmm. you know, so how do black you, people we should take that? Yeah, you know? for sure. Right. Even if you're not in a business, just knowing, <laughs> just being exposed to it. Right. You know right. What I'm saying? What, what, where do you bank at? I have Chase. I have Chase. I'm working on Spring Bank. Why right. Spring Bank? Because they're small. They're a small bank, and I feel like small banks help small businesses. No, I, I was, uh, you know, I was, I was, we was mm-hmm. having that conversation, and he was yeah. like, um, I wanted a, I wanted a smaller bank, like more like a regional bank or right. something, because they are going to cater to small businesses right. as right. opposed to like J.P. Morgan. And right, Chase, exactly. You know what I'm right. saying? Like yeah. they care about yeah. big money. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, right. So you'll have different benefits for like a regional bank. That's that's some very smart. What, you, do you guys look into like Carter Bank? Like what kind of? I just said that too. He okay. definitely said it. Yeah. We found out last with the last podcast, Carver is not a black bank no more. Wait a minute. Are you done? Yeah, it's not a black bank anymore. This when? We yeah we tell just me what you told me it don't even matter right yeah. <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah. 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 used to be a black bank but, but it's not no more they sold it to the what's the name this happened to be like the nineties because I, I had the nineties but why did they market it is that like I when I looked up the list of black banks Carver was one of them I looked around here Carver's down here on yeah. not far I mm. went over there I got an account and okay. she was telling me like this is not really a black owned bank anymore wow so they even they're it. still they're still on the list though. Oh wow! Because it started mm. with black people. Yeah, but they probably keep them on the list for a little mm. reason too. They kind right. of they you know, like sometimes you got fifty one percent. So we got one question too. Yeah. How do you how do you market? How do I market? I don't. It's funny. Um, I don't spend money on ads or anything. It's just very generic. I do I do a lot of pop up shops, oh, right. and I make yeah, sure yeah. I do festivals because yeah. it's like if you're doing a festival, you're getting like fifty thousand. Not fifty thousand, like maybe ten thousand people to see mm, your right. brand at mm. one time, whether they remember it or not. And then from that percentage, you get customers. So lately, mm. I just been—it's a lot of footwork, okay. and I want to move because now the business is going. I can't be at pop ups all the time anymore. Yeah. Mm, so mm. it's like, okay, now I need to focus on how can I grow the brand. And do you have a team or is this you doing? I do have a team. It's a very small team. It's only like okay. three of us. But oh, okay, um, okay. Shout out to some of you. I'm about to get like two more people. Good for you. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, some of wow. you is definitely out there and they, they give you free employees. The city oh, pays them. What? We'll talk about that later. Hell yeah. 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 And we, you we know what else too? That. Infinity groups. Yeah. That's how you build your What's community. That? Infinity groups is like fraternities or groups that share characteristics like mm. uh, the NAACP, which is down the block. Mm. You got, really? yes, right. at your college, yeah. you got different infinity groups, different chapters. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. with those, with the infinity groups though, you participate in their stuff, they participate See, in your, your stuff. stuff. And oh. the network is bigger than you. You don't have to do as much work because it's already built. Like, you know, right. they have the Black Accountant Association. They mm-hmm. have Black Social Work Associations. Right. Every That's group sad. has an association. And through those associations, showing up at their meetings and speaking to their people. That's how like you, you got, grow. Like you, yeah. you're not going to be paying for it, but you're paying in time. Yeah. 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 And resources, right. Right. you know, There's just showing up. But infinity yeah. groups now is definitely key because, you know, sisterhoods and brotherhoods, mm-hmm. like, People do a lot in those spaces, and you don't have to create it. Right. I think that's yeah, something right. too. Like right, we fall that. victim of too. Like we be thinking like, oh, I like you know. Bell Hooks said, "Rarely do we ever heal alone. We heal in that's community." Outside. When we mm. really mm. start Talking becoming about, yeah. community and embracing community, things start becoming a little mm-hmm. bit easier. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like when we start going to resources, speaking to people. You start to realize, like, damn, I ain't got to do this by myself. Well, I'm not alone in this. Yeah. 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 And that's what. Entrepreneurship is very lonely. It It feels like that. It feels very lonely. Because. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Like, uh, you need a lot of community. You know, speak to your local uh, schools. They need people just as much as you need need people. people. I used to work in a school. What I used to do in that, I used to sit down all day (laughs) and I used to call every business in the zip code that I can think of that I know that be like, hey, Hey, can you come visit the kids? I was down to the DA's office, like, hey, can you come see the kids? <laughs> wow. And that's a fact. But though. lo and behold, they be like, sure. 
Because they know what's to come. These right. you find it's a hundred kids. Somebody interested in Some, something. Right, right. Somebody you parent never know who somebody. You're lighting, right? Yeah, like you know, that's how you build. I used to be called all day, like, "Hey, how you doing, Leroy Comrie? Hey, I got some kids. Can you visit?" They don't care. Mm-hmm. They like, sure, we'll stay five minutes because that's how you build. You know that what is. I mean? Like, mm. lo- when in the schools do it so effortlessly, they used to have Thanksgiving dinners. They used to go to the corner store. Hey, we're having Thanksgiving dinner for the kids. Can you you donate donate? forks? One store is forks. The next store is spoons. The next one, by the time you, you had a whole dinner. Yeah, Mm. that's a fact. That's true. That's old school philanthropy. The new school is is Instagram and stuff. But that's how you build. You know, you speak to Mm -hmm. your neighbors. J-Cap next door. How y'all doing? Right. I know somebody in here want to be somebody. Yeah. It got to be somebody that want to do something. Mm. And that's Mm. how you build your community. But... That requires a lot of work too. That means you got to be transparent and, that, and, that and everything. Too. No. Yeah, mm. and being okay with it too. Yeah, yeah. like all right, cool. That, that's not for them. That's not for me. Yeah, yeah. So no one accept you yeah. Exactly. And be my vulnerable. Put yourself out there. The worst they can yeah. tell you is no. Yeah, yeah be vulnerable. Right. Speak to. I have learned that being. I was a part of an affinity group, and I learned actually it. When I was in college, I was asking everybody, what you do? <laughs> How you get that degree? What school you went? By the time I was finished, I walked in being so intimidated by people who were doctors and stuff. Right. To the point where I walked away and we became friends. Look at that. Mm. All because I'm being, I'm using my weakness as a strength. Like, yeah, hey, I don't even know how to get a PhD. Can you teach me? And they're like, sure, why not? This is right, how you do right, it. Right, right, and right. your vulnerability makes them feel as if they're pouring into you. Yes, and that's yes, how you build. Yes. Like, Man, that's I deep was, right that's there. Yeah, right. That's, that's <laughs> deep right there. You gotta be willing, oh, like, you know, we like, oh, I I don't want to look. I don't want to be act. act. I don't care how. Yo, for real, yo. Like, I, 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 I never even thought of that shit. Like, anything. Like, you the boss. Exactly. You be out there. Like, how long you was doing this? 15 years. So what'd you start with? Right. Do you need yeah. assistance? Yeah, like, you know wow. what I mean? No, no. Just show up be for vulnerable. people. And people right. love to talk about themselves and just. Write it down. Oh, okay, that's where you yeah. went? Okay, yeah. no problem. That's a fact. And build, you know? Mm. Like, you should know who the president is. That's him? How you doing? Right. Mm-hmm. So and, face. And, so and, face. And, and learn to do it. Because, you know, so much scary people along with. Don't talk to him, you know? Don't right. stay in your place. Right. Mm-hmm. Nah, ain't no place. No. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. like, you know what I mean? You worry. You ain't even getting mad at me. Like, <laughs> because they never gonna worry. Like, I'm the help. He never worry about me taking his position. Exactly. So he's gonna answer my questions. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Like use your right. weaknesses to your advantage. Like use not I was hit I remember Nicole Hannah Jones was the hottest person speaker wise. And everybody was like, no, start low. I'm asking Nicole. <laughs> I genuinely was like, hey Nicole, my name is such and such. I don't have much money, but I really like you. Your book is amazing. That's all you have to say. And her I forgot what the person is called, but you hire somebody and they do oh, the work. PR, yeah, 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 her PR yeah. agent was like, I know you don't have the money, but I think it's cool. I'm going to tell her about you. Lo and behold, he told her about me. We didn't get her, but we got a price. He knew we, who we were. The following year, they was like, oh, we're putting out our speakers list. You want me to add you to the list? That's how you do things. You know what I mean? Like. I it turned is, five hundred dollars into five thousand dollars just by being vulnerable. Like, hey, I don't have any money, That's it. Right, right, right. and people you gotta let that ego yeah. and that yeah. pride go. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah. Look at the greater cause. Like, it started with asking Cole. Yeah. Well. yeah like, <laughs> like, like, no, ask her. Like, no, you know, she calls her. I'm like, I don't care what you yeah. say. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. You ask about that, though. Yeah. yeah, like, just ask. You know, people want to give back. Exactly. Yeah. And people be humble. Like, really? You oh, like we, us? We, we learning that. <laughs> you learning that? Yeah. Like, because just some of the guests we come here, you be like, you, you know, it be like, like, um, we had Bimmy here. Uh-huh. Dope. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like... He was super humble, too. Very humble. <laughs> very See? humble. And it was just like, 
Wow, like, well, who, we who all humans. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes when somebody's in another position, you don't, you be surprised how down to earth they were. Yeah. Like, everybody's not like that. But and he didn't right, have to right. do this. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, he yeah, really yeah, didn't yeah, have yeah, to do yeah, this. But that's how it goes, man. And that's he came to it off the strength. Mike Geronimo, Kaya, like, right. they don't have to do this. No, 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 no. And they came. Not. They seen yeah. the vision. Right, like, right. They, Luke Steffen, right. like, they don't have to do this. Right. And. Right. They come down here. They love what we're doing. But I feel like that's real recognized, real type. Yeah. That's a fact. No, that's yeah. a fact. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, I and, always say, just be authentic to what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. Own in on that. And, and, you know, like, that's why we told our guests when we did, like, the first episode. It's like, yo, we're going to have growing pains here, yo. <laughs> like, 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 do we, expect that right. I, you know we want y'all to see that and see because it's real yeah it's real, to see yeah. where we start to where we come to Ooh. where we have grown to and stuff right. like that we right. go man like oh I, I remember back then right, right. Yeah. mumbling and stumbling yeah. now. Right, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it's a time. It's a time. Yeah. and I think that's probably why they like they buy into your brand right mm -hmm. because they seen you from the bottom. Right, they see me. You saw me working. Yeah, and you, you was putting in work. Right, dude. like I, working, It yeah. was cold and a motherfucker yeah. out there. <laughs> what you thinking? I hate the yeah. fucking cold. I mean, it was cold. <laughs> it was cold. It was. You know what I'm saying? I'm but, like, I, but I knew it was bigger than just being cold. I knew it was yeah. bigger than me, right? So yeah. it's like, I know I have to position myself at certain times. Even yeah. if I don't necessarily want to do it, mm -hmm. I must do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and that's how you grow. You got to be yeah. uncomfortable sometimes. It's true. You gotta be uncomfortable a lot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so much. If you ain't com if you comfortable, you need you to be out of comfort. Yeah. Yeah. That's a fact. That's a fact. It's <laughs> easy to be like, no, I'm gonna just do what I do. And Word. you gonna stay where you stay. Word. And as you say that, like y'all talk about like big people. Big people ain't used to like normal people asking them for stuff. Like when you humbly come yeah. in, like think about the boss. The boss don't is the is the least busiest person. So when you hit the mark, like yeah, yeah. They, people so scared that they they don't take the opportunity. They feel like, oh, they don't care Yeah, about like me. they gonna ask the person on the lowest level to do everything. How many people do you really think is asking the boss to show up? So when you really mm. go straight to the top. Mm -hmm. We really thinking like it's harder than what it really is. Nine mm -hmm. times out of ten, people get lonely up there. They looking that's, for that's people. Right. They, they like, yeah, like lonely, them. Right. And they want to yeah. know what's going on. They yeah. want to speak they to the people. Like, Anytime like, you hear, they be like, yeah, so we didn't know what was going on. Nobody is not bold sure. enough to act. Like, you have to learn to like really. Jackie, with that, that said, we got to get the mayor over here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know he got to pop out. Exactly. He be popping out. He, he popping out. He popping out. He popping out. Tell me who you are. That's a fight. Manifesting. Right. Get, yeah. get, that, get that up in here. We need you. You know what I'm saying? Right. We hear that Eric Adams? He's from <laughs> Southside. Come down here. You know what I'm saying? Right, <laughs> Whatever he is, he's he from here, man. He was a seventh crown at one point. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah he, he was from he here. That, yeah, he said that. Yeah, but yeah. Um, man, it was a pleasure. This was this it was is, an honor. But I was talking to the homie. Right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. yeah right, right, that's how right, we wanted right, to. Yeah. That, you know, that was like, you know, that's our that's our mantra, man. We mm -hmm. want the greatest stories out of every day of regular right. people. We want extraordinary stories. Out of normal people right. because as much success as you have or you know mm -hmm. having you're still a regular person right i still i still put on my pants yeah you know what i'm saying like that you know what i'm right. saying right. and <laughs> we want to show that and we want to right. show that regular people can do what extraordinary people right. do too right and I, and I want to tell people i think the hardest part is believing that yeah you're right. worth it yeah, you know? yeah. Mm -hmm. i feel like that's something i even deal with on the daily like nah i deserve this this yeah. is this is this is mine like you know i made it here oh so what do you do when that doubt is in your head like i gotta talk i gotta talk to myself crazy because <laughs> <laughs> even even like them thoughts seeping in is crazy in itself right yeah because yeah. like that that means i'm throwing away everything i've done everything mm -hmm. i've mm -hmm. i've wanted right mm -hmm. so I just have to remind myself, like, nah, this is where you're supposed to be. This is what you deserve. And you deserve so much more because yeah. you've worked for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sharif, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Yes. It's been a pleasure, too. Yes. <laughs> yes. Appreciate you coming by. Or you Thank come you. All, all, all the way from here. Harlem, man. Yeah. Yeah. All the way from Harlem. Why are we? Yo, deep in the game, New York. <laughs> oh, yo. 
<laughs> it be oh, hard to get people from once they hear another bird, they be like, ugh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's crazy, yeah, right yeah, now, man. Yeah, man. Queens really kind of have that hang. I was Brooklyn gonna Bronx. say that. Yeah, hey, we all party together. Cause y'all know farther. Yeah. I'm from Brooklyn, so okay. When everybody kind of party together, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not that I don't love Queens, but Queens, <laughs> no, 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 Queens is just separate. It's its own entity, and yeah. this is why they feel like and somebody else so like big. coming in. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's yeah. different. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? It is. It is. You know, Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens. We we up on the trains, we party together. It's not like right. a little bus to the train. Yeah, right. yeah. It's not crazy. Inland. Yeah. Well, you right there, you just yeah, hop on yeah. the train. Like I love Queens jump. though, because I've been a Nas fan forever. So. Oh, oh yeah. Queens yeah. people move differently, uh, there, and I know. I'm probably get some heat for saying that, but Queens people do move differently. It's more authentic. I ain't gonna argue with you. I'm not gonna argue with you. G might argue with you. I ain't gonna argue with you on that. Now all the boroughs got love. They they all have something special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You you got anything, Bug? I'm just proud of you. Thank you. Inspired and keep moving. Yeah. You got anything, Jackie? No, I'm good. I had a good time. Yeah, you gotta give me a price on these shirts. Yeah, I got y'all. I got y'all. You heard it first. I want that whole. I want to. Yo, that collab will be sick. Just thanks for asking, Black and others. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would. I want that. You know what I'm saying? Sharifa, thank you. Thank you. This is thanks for asking, and we out. Peace.